No other medical procedure is governed in the Crimes Act, and no other state or territory has failed to address the criminal approach to abortions. I state for the record again that I don't believe there is a member in this House that opposes abortion being removed from the Crimes Act. So we're, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we agree with that consensus, then why can't we agree to look very, very closely at some of these amendments put forward? The message we got from our communities is that it is the late-term abortions, the second period, that causes real angst. The gestation period in the bill is appropriately set at 22 weeks. It follows recommendations of the Australian Medical Association and the Queensland Law Reform Commission following an extensive review. A gestation period of 22 weeks recognises that many fetal abnormalities will not be identified until the anatomical ultrasound, which occurs at 18 to 20 weeks. It gives women time to make an informed decision without the pressure that any delay in her decision will force her to proceed with a different and more onerous approval path. The reason for, for 22 weeks being questioned in my amendment is that, as I said before, there is evidence of a young girl, Lila, born at 21 weeks and four days, living her life. There are other jurisdictions that have different thresholds. The questions we should take in this place is, at what point should New South Wales agree to the threshold? There is not uniform agreement in, in Australia on that threshold. I put it that the threshold should be lowered to 20 weeks. No person, no person wants to have a termination at 20 weeks, at 22 weeks, at any weeks. The reality is that the people that have terminations have them because they didn't want to find themselves in that situation. Obviously, the level of extra stress, the medical realities of going through a termination at that stage, not to, not to mention all of the emotional pressures on making this decision, on dealing with the reality that you are making this decision, means you do not make this decision lightly. So the idea that we would sit here without the expertise and not listen to the expertise of the AMA when they are saying that actually this is a workable time frame is completely, completely unacceptable. We know that the people who are proposing these amendments have a very clear view when it comes to the issue of abortion. And I say to those people, I respect your right to choose. I respect your right to not have an abortion. But what we are talking about here is not placing arbitrary limits on women who find themselves in a situation where they have to make that choice or they need to make that choice for themselves. So I say to those who are considering supporting this amendment, let us not stand in the way and put other stress and other trauma and other barriers onto access when women find themselves making this situation. Let us actually put that in the hands of themselves and the doctors and the professionals that are caring for them, instead of imposing your views and your opinions about what you would choose to do with your own body onto other people who live in the state of New South Wales.